Hello, I am Shakti. I am working as assistant professor in the department of Motion Dietetics and KSA Women's College, Kishanpur. We are going to see about the second part of the bakery science. Leavening agents. Leavening agents are the agents which helps in increasing the surface area of the dough or batter, and it helps in uh, increasing the volume of the batter or dough by producing a uh, gas bubbles in the dough or batter. And the leavened bakery products are light and porous and it can be easily chewed and easily digested. It looks like more palatable and appetizing when compared to the bakery products which was made without the labeling. It is due to the uniformity of the size texture and brightness of the crumb and softness of the texture. Classification. Leavening agents can be categorized into three types as biological, chemical physical or mechanical, in biological yeast, in chemical, baking powder, baking soda and ammonia and in the physical or mechanical air, steam, beating, whisking and creaming. Next, moisturizing agent. It produces the moistness in the batter as well as the dough. By the moisturizing agent, we can adjust the consistency of the confectionery products. There are three main moisturizing agents as egg, water, milk. Egg is used as binding agent as well as it increases the nutritive value of the product and it helps in producing the color in the crumb as well as the crust and then water. It uh, make possible gluten formation and it make possible some enzymatic activities and milk which increases the volume of the bakery products as well as it gives the crust color that is darker crust it is due to the sugar present in the milk was lactose and let's see about the bread making process it is one we know that bread is an important part of our diet in the majority of the world inhabitants what are the ingredients required for the bread making was flour water yeast salt sugar milk egg oil or fat and blood improvers First, we have to measure the ingredients required for the bread making by using the waving balance and the measuring spoons as measuring jars and then we have to mix the ingredients. What are the ingredients we have measured and then we have to make the dough and we can uh, divide the dough and we can uh, make uh, the dough into desirable shapes by using the process shaping and we can allow the dough for the proving process that means the dough rises and we have to bake the proven dough and then after the baking we can cool the bread and then we can store and we the bread is ready to eat icing icing is also known by other name for frosting icing is done by it is a sweet which is a often creamy glaze made up of a sugar whether the liquid such as water or the milk it is often enriched with other ingredients like butter egg whites and cream cheese and flavoring it is used to coat and decorate the bakery goods such as the cake first one picture shows about the butter cream and second picture is the glazing and third one is a foaming and then we next see about the steps involved in the biscuit making process first we have to undergo the process of creaming it was done by mixing the fat that is butter and the sugar and we have to addition the flours and then add a flavoring agents some leavening agents like yeast or baking powder or baking soda and then we need to prepare a dough and we can roll the dough and then we can sheet it and then we can cut them into a desirable shape and it a uh, desirable shape biscuits for allowed for baking for 450 degree fahrenheit for 15 minutes and then after that we can cool and package and the biscuits was ready to eat Thank you.